Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, back in February, if you guys remember that group build, finish it up in February, I brought this kit back out and uh, had you showing that. This was the, I'm thinking it was AMT. I think I threw the damn box away. The box was so ugly, couldn't stand it no more. Well, this was that AMT Porsche kit. I think it went in a purple pond four times. The interior, the body on it's cool as can be. The interior is retarded as hell. The wheels look stupid as shit. And uh, it just really ruins the kit. Well, I finally got the white on. And uh, got it stripped good enough, I guess I should say. And then was able to get all the black trim painted and the interior painted. So that all went well. So then I... Try to do some decaling on it. This is a special kit that I had. I had two sets of this. I plan on doing one of the Fujium Porsches, the GT3Rs, in this live, you know, the library. And um, but this is one of one of my favorite teams. They don't really race anymore, but they have a huge, huge history in road racing. It's the Bruno's Porsche. They um, raced in IMSA back before it was what it is today. Then they were in Grand Am, and now they're back in the IMSA. And uh, they would do um, the 24-hour Daytona. And so they have a, a good history in that. And then I think they also went to Le Mans. I was trying to look up the history. When I watched them in Grand Am and that, they would go to Le Mans I, at this time. I don't know if they went to Le Mans as much. Um, but uh, the decals that came with this set has Hurley Haywood and um, Hans Struck. Now, they did not race together in this car. I think Hurley Haywood did race in this car. But there's not many cars out there that Hurley Haywood did not race in. Uh, he's got a hell of a hell of a history in racing. He's one of the well-known greats in this type of racing. He has a lot of uh, big titles and stuff. So I was going to keep his name on that, even if him and that other guy did not race together in this car. I think. Which is quite funny that they're actually on the decal together. I don't think they really raced together more than one season. So, that's kind of a odd choice from the put on that. <clears throat> but I still have this so that this will come apart. I have the Made in Jacksonville. They are a Florida-based dealership. And, uh... But the funny thing is, I actually was wearing a t-shirt of this built this car today. And it was a... <coughs> decals are somewhat like it. This was a one-piece decal. And uh, on this car, they would actually come up like that. So that's very close. This would actually come back to about the handle somewhere in there. So it ain't terrible, but decals laid down really nice and flat. They're a thicker decal, so you do see the edge. They're ones that you actually have to cut as close as you can to the actual uh, print. So that way you don't have a whole bunch of uh, extra clear on it. I do plan on clearing this. So I'm going to have to really get brave one day and put the clear coat on and make sure it don't ruin them decals because these ain't like normal decals I'm used to these are just somebody that printed off some decals and was selling them so I'm hoping that uh, they ain't too bad with the clear so and then on a side note I did get a shop card from uh, 
Big Rowdy Enterprises, 1720. There is his shop card. There's his email address. Got some really cool builds on there. Cool derby truck. So, if you don't already know about Big Rowdy, please go check him out. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. So, and until next time, I'll talk to you later. See ya.